Hello. How are we all doing? Let me just... This button here. Check in thing. We should be good to go. As the title suggests, we are continuing the captain once again. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to do for this next part, honestly, because I still... I haven't looked up, like, how to do it, so... But I thought, like, I'd at least stream today. Just because I felt like it, you know? And to be honest, I was kind of getting bored doing nothing, so... I thought I might as well. Let me swap to this screen. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. Continue. Yeah, this should be the last stream as well where I have the cat ears as well. Next stream, they're gone. Uh, okay, so we're starting back here. This is what we have. Last day, I remember, I was trying to put shit in the box, but it just wouldn't work. I, I seriously don't know what I need to do, though. Oh, it's closed now. Please follow me and I'll escort you to the exit. Oh, wait, am I... Oh, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Actually, let me see how this goes. Oh, so is that it? Okay. I, uh, first, we need to load the last one. Uh, the judges have arrived. Because I do want to actually set off the, like, bomb and all, you know? Uh, 295. Where is the screen? Then I need to steal a few pills and then go from there. Uh. No way, I won? Damn, I'm cracked. Hmm. Let me just rip it in front of your face. Uh, let's see, we'll take the pills. I'm just trying to think, like, what I can do. Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Wait, I actually think I legit know what I need to do. Wait, it just occurred to me. Oh my fu- are you kidding me? Uh, so wait, when I give him that, what do I do though? Oh, no, never mind, okay. I actually thought that was this, like, hey bro, do you want to try this random pill I got from the exhibit? It's meant to be really cool. Yeah, like, th this one, you know, it's really cool. Wait, imagine if that worked. Yeah, no, cool. Um... Yeah, see, when I click the right click, it doesn't bring me any other options. Wait, oh, I keep clicking fucking escape. There we go. Package, take one. Okay. What if it's just as simple as click on the box? No, just an empty box. Cool. You think it would be as simple as that, wouldn't you? Supposed to put your body in temporary cryostasis, power cell. I can't give you one thing. <laughs> Just wait. Hey, guard, do you want one? Do you, do you trust the pill from a stranger? Again, I swear I ha Hmm. There has to be something I do. As he's going up and down, like. Sorry, I don't mind just working here. Backstage. Go to backstage. What is it? A bomb. Let's see, can I. Hmm. 
Let me think a bit outside the box. Let me go back downstairs to the elevator and all that. I'll see if there's, like, anything I can... Oh, wait, no. Didn't they say, though, like, once I go in, like, if I leave, I'll actually, like, not be able to get back in? Officer, I'm here to report that uh, I need this package. Said the end. I'm assuming I can't just pass straight through, can I? Never mind, I can pass straight through. Are you kidding me? I, I couldn't use the prototype, I have... Okay, now, so how do you propose we get through security law? It, it can't be this simple. No, I, I refuse to believe it's going to be this simple. Unless the storage room's going to do thing. And it's going to go off. Can I give them the box like because there, there's no way I just put it back in there is it I can put it back in there but like is there a point <laughs> you know maybe just if I put in the weaker device there must be Wait, no, visitor, visitor. There must be something I'm missing, like. Okay, and it's gonna be caught again because it's like. <laughs> just drop the package here and just leave it there. With a big bang. Open. I can actually open it again, like. I don't. I seriously don't know what I'm meant to do here. Mr. Uh, Wellmo. Very excited about today, Sharam. Just try. Uh, Sharam, me too. Guess we're all here to see history being made. I have some calls to make if you excuse me. It's really exciting. Are you here for the presentation? Uh, why do you find a uh, wonder VIP here? So I have to. Uh, why do you find it interesting? Uh, lose its monopoly on space jumping. I wonder VIP tickets, so I really have to go. Uh, well, congratulations. Have fun. I'm assuming the other person is just going to say the same. Futures here, well said, I guess. Brother Hong here is a temporal monk of the sixth level. His preferred way of communication is by telepathy. Telepath, telepath, yeah. I am his voice. I speak. I speak his thoughts. You can talk to Brother Hong through me. You here for the presentation? Hum hum brr hum ham. I've seen this event since it, I was a young apprentice. Hmm, hmm, burr, hmm, hmm, hum, hmm. The technology behind upper space could save the sector. Perf, burr, cr, hmm, hmm, hmm. We won't have to rely on that dangerous space gate anymore. Okay, I'm not. Brother Hong says that he needs to prepare for meditation and is. Uh, he wished you a nice day. Oh, so like, okay, now I have, I have to put the battery away now? What, 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 what do I, what, what do I do? Can I store it in there as well? Okay, I can store it in there. 
They just put the broken teddy and all in there. Okay, but how does this help me, though? How, how does this help me in the slightest? How do I get that package to where I need? Jeez, finally. Yeah, no, it's just saying the same shit. That is really annoying now. Unless I meant to, like, as they were saying, go visit another person before coming here or something like that, and that's why I can't do thing. Uh... What is it? Doesn't matter. Carry something where she could. See you later. I honestly, I kind of just want to give up. I'll be honest. Like I know it's gonna save me time if I do this now, but at the same time, I don't want to have, have to go so far back that like I don't have thing. Like, fuck it. It's just gonna be a the boss man on me anyway. Whatever. Maybe if I flexed my VIP badge, I would have been able to do it. Wait. Idea. It's just, I don't, I don't think they'll take it, but... What if they, uh... What if they were to just suddenly take a sleeping pill? How, how would that fare? Officer, do you see this weird, mysterious blue pill? I think you should try it out, just to see if it's okay. Wait, is there anything outside? I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to go outside, but I just want to check. Stuff from the storage before I leave. Okay, but am I going to be stuck outside, though? We can Again, we can always reverse time and go back and get my stuff again if I need to. Not really anything up here, is there? Uh, power cell. And then bomb box. Hopefully I got rid of everything. Yep, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. No. Tom, come on, man. Come on. Hear me out. It could be a bad idea, this, or it could be the most, like, brilliant idea I've had in a while. Okay. And then I want to put this in here. Walk up to here. Oh, well, cool, thanks. <laughs> I guess I just did that for no reason. Let me take the shift first and I'll put it back in. Because I know I can't do it during the cutscene.
And the power cell. There we go. Ah, so actually, I might ask the butler before I give up. Go! Yeah, fuck, I give up. <laughs> I, I give up. Start the show. We're not staying on this forever. Yeah, and I already seen this yesterday, so... Yeah, see, the moment I go down now, though. Yeah, the moment I go down is when they're gonna kick me out. Well, I've pissed off a lot of people. <laughs> Let's go. I think I read that before. But yeah, as I said, though, there, like, there's no point in me lingering on that for too much longer, like, because we're going to be here for fucking hours, like, just me staring at the same shit, like, and going from there. Let's go. I do want to leave the planet and just admit my defeat because I am a dum dum. Just stealing everybody's technology left, right, and center to sell off later, like. I see. Even the like tip down there talks about fuel cells and how you can just use them up, like essentially. Uh, we'll go engineering first, and we'll go here to go into there. Going great and focus learning. Okay, that's the same shit. Yeah, actually, I just realized we could do that. Oh. Captain, the Lyman Defense Force is hailing us. What? Hailing Space Fleet Vessel uh, Kopernik. Uh, with the power vested in me by the Lyman External Affairs Office, I sadly have to inform you that, due to recent events, you are henceforth considered an enemy of the Lyman Nation. You're now banned from Lyme and the Space Gate. If you are found close to these areas, we will be forced to open fire. Why am I banned? I don't have any information about that, sir. My job is only to inform you. My kind-hearted guess, however, would be that it has something to do with the recent events on Planet Pi. Office what? As I already made perfectly clear, you did accept a mission by the Lyman External Affairs Office. 
printed a favor I was being forced to do for a certain Mr. Bossman. I obligate and inclined to reveal such sensitive information. Got it. Plan to defense force out. So that basically means you're dead. Captain? Yeah, ship? Just want to inform you that we received a message from this planet. It looks like it was transmitted all over this sector. I've recorded it to your info pad. Thanks. Huh, nothing. In May, a few minutes ago, we opened a transport hub that will take you to any location sector, and it is all free. You're also very welcome, uh, your friends at uh, Planet Pi. Oh god. Priority. Oh yeah, that'll be this one, though. Welcome to the transport hub, built and maintained by the people of Pi. Please stand by to receive our currently available destinations. You should be able to select where you want to go in your star map now. Okay, so that's where we are. Oh, and they don't... Yeah, see, they don't go out this far. Oh, but because I have that ability now to fucking... Go straight to where I want. Do they have, like, gates set up everywhere? Or is it just, like... I can always go back and to a previous save anyway. Let's say I, like, wanted to go to Perth. I'd like to go to Perth. Wonderful. Just hold your ship right uh, where you are. I'll, we will take care of the rest. Have a nice day. Yep, 215. Captain. Yeah? My planet scan has detected something very strange. We are receiving a space fleet homing signal from the planet's surface. A space fleet signal? Are you sure? Yeah, I am. I believe it is from the booster module that uh, was part of a fuel cell transport mission. Booster module? How the hell did it end up here? Too many unknown variables to extrapolate a relevant analysis. What? I don't know what it is doing here, but this could very well be the reason for why the transport mission failed, and you ended up in the outer regions. These booster modules contain a great amount of dronium, if I'm not mistaken. Correct, sir. It could be useful to us. I'm reading several information satellites orbiting this planet. We should establish a link to them before taking any further action. Hold on, establishing a link to one satellite now. Free space civilization and is uh, thereby protected under the United Galaxy Act of Universal Non-Interference Act of 2234. All breaches of this act are punishable by the law of the Universal Paragraphs of Conduct. For more information, please contact the Lyman Space or Service Authority of Trade and uh, Cadastral Survey. Careful, I'm going down there. Oh, so yeah, that is the contact hub, isn't it? That's cool, how I can literally just go from planet to planet now. But if I try go to Lime or Space Gate, I'm fucked. Um, oh, prison. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, fuck. I forgot, like, clicking on it would go straight there and not give me information. Bad idea, bad idea. Out, out, out. Just click up here, just in case. <laughs> Bring me up here, like. Um, okay, so we shouldn't really touch the planet because, like, of thing reason. I mean, I might as well just take this moment to actually explore the other planets whilst this system has instant transportation, like. And then maybe afterwards I'll go to a trade and pay before going back to Pi and traveling outwards. Um, let's see. Nugget. Oh, this place has seen better days. Oh, it's a mining planet, that's why. Frag here. I'm Thomas Wellmew, captain of Space Fleet Vessel uh, Corpinicus. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm in the middle of some. Did you want something special? No, not really. What's going on with the planet? Oh, I know, yeah, I have been here. How is it not marked on my thing map, though? Well, that's because I didn't complete thing here. That's probably why. Guess I haven't been here.
Captain, the scans of this planet indicate that there is only one building on this entire planet. I've marked it for you if you want to check it out. And I got a satellite as well. I mean, hey, no contact, no warnings. Go straight in, boy. There should be like a category on Twitch for um, like unheard games or like indie games or something like that. Like a topic for it. Oh, wait, is this Thanos' like retirement world? Where Where are we? Home sweet home. Uh, no. Go on, Tommy. Have a little read of it, like, see what you see. So I'm not home at the moment. I needed some time off, so I went to Selic to relax a bit. Love, Kim. P.S. Mom, you know where to find the key. Do I know where to find the key? Huh. This is a weird little place. I can't zoom in or out, can't go side to side, it's just there. Did I actually dump the teddy? Anyway, let's go. It's <laughs> just, yeah, there's not much here. Oh, he's actually out and working. I actually forgot to check up on him. How you doing? Kat, I'm sorry, but I really don't have time to chit-chat right now. Uh, hmm. Fishy. What are you up to, Marvel? Uh, let's see. We'll go to, um, this trade and pay. It doesn't really matter which one I go to. I'm just going to go to the closer one to pay. So we got the tray station and thing. A very warm and pleasant welcome and visit to Trade and Pay. I am Palm, your automatic and agreeable shop assistant. Let me show you your current stock and tradable pl uh, palette of goods. So my items sell repair ship. I can't repair because I haven't been in battles. Laser shield modulator. And that's the only thing I can afford. Guess I should be on planets when I'm selling the little bits. <laughs> uh, we, we, yeah, we don't. We still don't talk about that package. I think I'm done here. Okay then, have a nice day. Right, let's get out of the system before we're hunted down for a sport. Welcome to the transport hub. Built and maintained by Pi. Oh yeah, sorry. I shouldn't even need to read all that. I'll just go back to um, Pi and go from there. It's a nice little system, but you know, it's not good enough for uh, traveling to where we needed to go. Pirate territory. Oh Jesus. Just the amount of time it's going to take to get to even just this trade and pay. What I originally wanted to save up on. Unless we literally go like over, but we go like one at a time to each of the dots like. I guess we'll give it a shot. We might as well at least do it once. Maybe we'll get like the bad ending for letting the ship blow up like. Oh, that's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Assume this. Prepare. Big ship first, Joe. Big ship first. Uh, 
Okay, I can't. I actually seriously can't remember how I play this, but. Okay, so gold border I think means infinite you. Oh, I know that's if it has an N. That's one slash battle, and then the other one is infinite uses. Max value can only be used one more time. Shields 100% for one round. Uh Well, that went well. They were shooting with blue, right? But two of them were red. Shite. Wait. No, that's the thing, EMPs. We don't need those. It says we're overcharged but not have enough energy. Like what? Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, I can't use it. <laughs> it won't let me use it, like. Oh, our stress is bad. Yeah, see, this is why we don't do battle. <laughs> this, is, this is legit the reason why we do not do battle. We die. Uh, load latest checkpoint, please. Oh, oh, thanks, um, vet for following us. Like, you had to follow like after uh, I showed my various um, no, my very good uh, fighting skills. Hola, come esta. Let's see. Okay, let's see if I can do that now without. I mean, how am I even meant to go through them then without? Bumping into them. Let's go. Two hundred, bruh. Yeah, I am bad. I'm probably gonna bump into one of these on the way now. Oh no! Nope, skirt past them. Yeah. Day 415. I need to ask the, um, ship. Uh, how long till Sun Blaster reaches Earth? 316 days. Bro, we are goaded right now. Uh, another thing. How long will it take us to reach Earth? 43 days. That's actually not that bad. So now we're okay. I can't. Remember. I think I was meant to bring something here, wasn't I? Who's there? I'm Captain Tom. Hmm. I am Captain in disguise. I need to get through the outer barrier. Oh, a tender-looking human is visiting. Well, well, well. I see. I see. Is there something wrong with the official passage? If one wonders, I don't know if you have noticed, but there is a war raging. We noticed. We just don't care. Wait a minute. Our scanners are sensing dead human meat on your ship. Are you selling that to us? What do you want that for? Oh, <laughs> human meat is a delicacy to us. We only want to enjoy ourselves a bit. No fucking way. 
is one of my past mistakes, my haunting memories of being this captain, actually helping me here. How much do I get for the human me? Well, we can offer you a choice. You can either get one nuke rocket or a nuke module from us. What do you say, human? Do we have a deal? Uh, I've changed my I don't want to sell it. We see. Anything else you want? I need to go through the barrier. It'll cost you, I'm afraid. I have 375 credits. Is that enough? Oh, no, we don't want your credits. We want three star fragments, and it's non-negotiable. Is there anything else I could do? You want an option? You hand us all your weapons, defenses, and cargo. It's the only other option. Non-negotiable. I guess I'm forced to give you all my equipment. <laughs> no force from us. Your choice. So, are you sure about this? Yes. We thank you. Wait while we collect items. The passage will be open afterwards. They're just going to rob me and just leave me stranded, right? To come and get the equipment from you. Okay. Are we... The music changed a little bit, so I'm just thinking, is it a thing? Oh. Oh, it took me it was two days just to get through it, like... God, let, let's check shit now. <laughs> like, <laughs> just weapons gone, shields gone. The only thing we have is our main crew, and we still have the money, surprisingly, but... Ah, oh, that's bad. Okay, maybe I do need to visit the trader place now, because there's no way in hell... Oh, shit, I can't. I legitimately have no choice but to go straight back to Earth. Because the other... Yeah, um... Home sweet home, also the location of Oedipus Station. I think it's time. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's end this shit. Estimated arrival in 41 days. I <laughs> Just go zoom through that, don't mind me. Oh, it's so beautiful. Orbiting Earth. Uh, computer, can you give us information about thing again? Uh, how long does Sun Blaster? Current speed, 272 days. We are 200 days early. But that's just me. Needing to be early. Oedipus Control, please state your business, sir. I need to speak to Commander of Oedipus. Hmm, I guess that would be Admiral Whitfield then. And what would, should I state as the purpose of this meeting? I'm bringing a fuel cell back home so we can win this war. Alright, let's see here. Does next week on Thursday work for you? What? No, I need to see him right now. It's extremely important. Well, alright. I guess I can register a priority request for uh, you to see him at once. Beware that it might still take some time before you can see him. I understand. Okay then. Please state your full name and title for confirmation. Captain Thomas Wellmo. Thank you. You are now registered to land at Oedipus. Have a nice day, sir. Nice cock, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Just and the way he says thank you as well after that as well. Shuttle. Any suggestions? With what? If you're not setting a landing cord uh, coordinate or want to, oh yeah, good. There you go. Right, land. Meanwhile, back at Defense Station Ortis. Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. <laughs> just flew right past them like, adjust the shield mo modulators. Adjusting. How are we doing with that damn suppressor beam? It is draining our energy. We're, we're at 2% and dropping, Commander. Suggestions, anyone? We could try and invert their output frequency. Do it! Oh. What was that? Hoffman? Checking... That was our generator shutting down. They are completely fried. We pushed them too hard. What? Are you sure? I'm afraid so. Our shields are down, ma'am. I'm sorry, Sarah. God. So this is the end. It's been an honor serving with you, ma'am. To be fair, they held out for fucking months before they got obliterated. 
Fair play to them. It's <laughs> just like, that's all I can say. Thomas, remember 400 odd days ago when you were just orbiting Earth? Madness, wasn't it? Took you t like a year and a bit to get back here. Welcome to Cedar Mountain, sir. Thank you, Corporal. I'm afraid I've got to ask you to uh, get your shuttle off that uh, the pad, sir. We have to keep L pad clear for incoming cargo. Did you hear that shuttle? I heard a bunch of discriminating crap about keeping my kind out. Your kind? Would that be the shuttle kind? Yeah. Okay, we can talk about this later. Not likely, no. Shuttle return to the ship and stand by. Okay, I'll return to the ship. But you can't forget about standing by. Thank you, shuttle. Thank you, Captain. Aviva Derci. Yes, Captain? I'm here to meet the Admiral. Sorry, sir, I can only point you to my commanding officer, Lieutenant Snare. I saw him a while ago. He was debriefing the SDG over by the main facility. SDG? Yeah, the station defense guard. Just follow the L-pad pass and the pass the metal heads and you can't miss them. Got it, thanks. Keep up the good work. Okay, wait. I've already forgotten where I'm going, I'm not gonna lie. Come on, Tommy. You're finally back home. We can save the world now. Good day, soldier. I'm looking for Admiral Whitfield. Any ideas where I can find him? LT should know. He's right there to your right. Thanks. Lieutenant? Yes, Captain? I'm here to see Admiral Whitfield. Ah, you must be Thomas Wellmo. Yeah. I'm Lieutenant Cobb Snare. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. I have an urgent message for the Admiral. Yeah, of course. I'll show you uh, to his lo current location. Private, when you finish this calibration, take five off, okay? Thank you, LT. Captain, please come with me. Open the cage, Private Trevor. I'm escorting Captain Wellmo here to the Admiral. Sure thing, LT. Stat 2013. Come on, Captain. It's this way. So this is the technical wonder child that will save us all? Captain? Sorry, Lieutenant. I've heard so much about this place, but never been here before. It sure is a grand station, sir. How many people work here? My numbers are not up to date, but I would estimate it to be around 500 souls. I see. Lead on, Lieutenant. This way, sir. We're taking the elevator to the operation... Uh, section of the station. Thomas, Thomas Wellmo? Is that you? Roland Putgarden. Long time no see, old friend. I can't believe it. It must have been 10, 12 years? At least. How are you doing? Good. It is all good, and you? Well, look around you. I can't complain. I'm clever enough to keep away from that damn front. Seen too many dumb grunts get hauled away to get blown to bits for nothing. For brave souls, I already sacrificed themselves. Thing. Um, <laughs> good for you. So, what are you doing here at Oedipus? I'm sorry, but I don't really have time to chat right now. I understand. This damn war is keeping us all too busy. Well said. See you around, Roland. That's nice. He's recognizing people. Wait, where am I going? Oh, here. <laughs> just... I thought that was an elevator, like. Oh, excuse me. Here we are. Just a second, Captain. I'll find out where Admiral is. Private? Yes, sir? Where can I find Admiral? The Admiral is currently in the control room. Thank you, soldier. Carry on. Captain, this way, please.
Can't believe we're actually nearly here, man. Nearly the end, huh? Admiral? Yes, Snare? This is Captain Thomas Wellmoo. Oh, yes. You are somewhat a legend around these parts, you know. I am. Sorry to interrupt, Admiral. Could I be excused? I've got some cal uh, calibration that needs my supervision. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Captain. Likewise, Lieutenant. I'm Admiral Whitfield, by the way. Nice to meet you, sir. As I was saying before, you've been a celebrity here for some time now. How do you mean? After you disappeared in the train wreck of a transport mission, we lost contact with the uh, Epsilon station. No one really knew what happened to you. But then, a while ago, your ship signal showed up on our long-range scanners, and everyone started to follow your progress getting back. It was quite a boost to people's morale to see that you were on your way home. Perhaps your thoughts and hopes helped me on the way. It's been quite an adventure. Uh, I brought a fuel cell back with me, sir. What, a fuel cell? Yes, I have it on me. Are you sure? Let me see it. I can't believe this. Oh. They got a bad achievement just underneath me there. I can't believe this. You really got one back. It wasn't easy, though. Do you understand what this means? We need to check the status of this fuel cell and contact Space Fleet Headquarters immediately. Come with me. They actually just fucking arrest me or something for just having it on me. Connect to Space Fleet Headquarters and start a conference call. They should be ready to talk with us now over there, Captain. Good morning, Admiral. Good morning, Generals. So, Captain Wellmu. We just heard the news about your incredible return. Is it actually true that you have managed to bring back a fuel cell? Yes, it is, General. It is in Admiral Whitfield's care as we speak. <laughs> we were almost ready to surrender. You are a true hero, Captain. You might have just saved billions of lives. Gentlemen, what we need to confirm in this communication is whether we should go live right now or not. Kendrick, do you have any objections, uh, objections or concerns? Yes, I do. There are still several outposts under siege by the Union fleet. The Oedipus Blast will cause a, cas a cascading feedback loop in the suppression fields of the stations that will in turn disrupt their outer hull. Kendrick, please, in English. If we activate Oedipus now, it will destroy the stations that are under siege. What choice do we have? The Union Sunblaster is at our doorstep. I don't think we have a choice. If we can't stop it from reaching its goal, the human race is no more. I hate to be the one to say this, but we have to proceed with this activation of Oedipus. Okay then. What are we about to do has never been tried before properly. Make sure you do everything in your power to get this one right. Will do, General. So it's decided then. Let's not waste any more time or lives than is absolutely necessary. Good luck, men. Let this be the moment when we draw the line. HQ out. There we go, Captain. We are cleared to proceed. Let's head over to the infusion chamber and install this bad boy. I know at some points they say different words in the senses, but I just make them different for my own sake. Like, Okay, Captain, this is what's going to happen. We will charge the Oedipus Blast antenna with the fuel cell. And if the stars align and our researchers and engineers have done their job, we will end the war. Admiral, is... If you have that cell, I will now install it and we will start charging this thing. Here it is. Oh my. To think that such a small thing contains the power to stop the war. Okay, people, we're going live this time. Cross your fingers. <laughs> This doesn't look good, I'm not going to lie. Are, are we going to die? Should we even be standing here? Okay, everything seems to be working. The container bridge is holding. 50 hertz flux and holding. Good, very good. So, Professor, do we have a weapon? This will need to charge about half an hour, but other than that... Yes, yes, I believe we have. 
Well done, Professor. What's that sound? That's the goddamn air raid alarm. I'll be right back. Stay here. Oh, jeez. We're under attack! Ha, huh, this must be all the enemies I've made over time. Oh, shit. I actually got knocked out, like. The captain gets hit on the head and everything goes black. Oh, they took the fucking thing as well, didn't they? They... They took it. They took the fuel cell. Who are they? Droids, a man in a wheelchair. What? A man in a wheelchair took the fuel cell? He had robotic limbs and a silver nose. General Evelyn, Evelyn, you need to get it back. You need to save Space Fleet. Ah, fine, I guess I'll go save everybody asses. You know how it is. Okay, I need to get that fuel cell back before it's too late. Oh yeah, if they drain, it's all smashed up. There's no way it's going to work. Maybe in here? I don't know. Finally. I have everything I need to complete my evolution. I'm happy for you, boss. Yeah. This fuel cell will be able to power all my cybernetics for centuries, you know. It was a good idea to keep our eyes on this place. I just knew a fuel cell would be bra here eventually. That was very clever of you, sir. Well, let's get started on this, shall we? I'll just head for the chamber and strap myself to the machine. Are you done figuring out how to use these controls in there? Yes, I believe so, sir. Good. Let me know immediately if uh, something goes wrong. Of course, sir. Oh, another human. Crap, I've nowhere to hide. Hmm. They're not coming out here. Well, I think they were going to take the fuel cell into the next room if I'm not mistaken. I have to find a way to get past that droid in there. <sighs> I guess I have to look through all the stuff in here and see if I can find something useful. <laughs> I think we're doing the same shit again now. Oh yeah, it's grey. I thought it wasn't grey for a minute. I was like, what? Door. Oh my god. I... It's impossible to wear it in its current state. Scanning. Human head detected. Kill. Human. I guess these droids only scan the heads to identify enemies. Maybe I can use that somehow. Okay, but... Did, did you find anything? Nope. Oh. Ah. I guess I'm looking into each one of these. Metal cutter. And a toothbrush. We have quite a lot of stuff, don't we? And I'm assuming going in here is just going to do nothing. No, there's just the exit here. Oh. Thermos. I don't even know what that is.
I feel like I need to do something with the droid, but I just don't know what to do. Maybe if I go into the room now, I'll find something that I can do. And hopefully not die in the process. Okay, never mind. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh wait, I didn't even see that. Apparently there's just a key card just lying on the ground, like. What is that for, though? Because the elevator won't open, will it? No. And you were saying there's, like, no way I could do thing, right? Dismantle? Yeah, fuck it, dismantle it. What, what what do we get from it? Bomb part one, part two. I don't know what that this does, but I've done it. It's just, it, it has happened now. That's never been needed, has it? I think we're honestly at another one of these parts of the game where I'm just going to be struggling for a while. Yeah, no, okay, there's nothing in there. Double check that. Okay. Yeah, that's no, just a door. And so what was the hint it gave me here? So human head detected kill human, I guess. These droids only scans the heads to identify enemies. Maybe we can use that somehow. And then you try to put it on in its current state. So I need mm, the metal core. I've removed the inner thing. There's several tightly screwed components exposed. I unscrewed and removed there. Hunted tiny wires deep inside the metal head. Through the weld to the outer shell. Wait, actually, don't go in. I just want you to go over. Uh, yeah, there we go. Have been removed. Now, nah, what I call a droid helmet. There you go. Oh, hello there. You shouldn't really shouldn't be in here. Perhaps you can go and clean the corridor out there. Uh, that is correct. Just need to, um... Actually, I got orders to send you back to the ship. Who gave you those orders? That would have uh, been the head of the droid relocation department. Uh, it's that important. It doesn't matter anyway. Orders from General to stay here and oversee his final transformation. I'm not moving the spot until the commander comes down and gives me the order himself. I mean, <laughs> just can, can I just, just like, I'm sorry, but can I let you enter? Uh, should you, should not you, should not you change your current duty? The corridor needs to be cleaned. Can I like 
bash him over the head with something. Bruh. Right, let's see. We have a dozen different devices here. I, I don't know what to do, honestly. Pizza. What, what, what was I even meant to do with that? Red bandana. <laughs> no, you can't be serious. Wait. Where is it? Ah, that would have been perfect though. Imagine, you just put it over his eyes like. I'm gonna put dirt in your eyes. Okay, so I have that and a pizza. I seriously don't know what I need to do in here. Wait, so I got a bandana and a pizza. What if I just go out and come back in? Okay, but Joe, what can you do about this, huh? That droid just takes it off and he shoots me, like. Can I seriously not just, like... I actually have just no clue. We're right in there a moment in the game now where I'm just stuck because I'm a dumbass, like. Wait, there was so I swear there was something there. Yeah, see, there's not much I can do there. <laughs> Take off. That's a good joke. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought you were going to just put that over your eyes. Tied around your neck or uh, head or neck. Oh, another human. No way. So wait, does that take off my bandana? No, it doesn't. There must be something I can do here. Hit part one and two now. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to move to the next page. There we go. I just don't know, man. I just get to these points, like, in the game, and I'm just, like, so confused on what I need to do next, like. 
Should, should not you change your current duty? I did try. No, I don't want to go, like, talk to him. I just want to do thing. Two power cells. I seriously just don't know what to do, man. I'll move you back over here. <laughs> Just, would you like bomb? Would you like to see what happens when bomb go off? Is that why I couldn't fucking do it before? Because I needed to use the fucking battery, man. I swear I did that before as well, and it did nothing. Damn, I could have saved so much time and effort and all of that, but no. Had to have targets on my back, like... Hold on to the package. No, just trust me out. Tr trust me, trust me. It's good. What did I seriously expect me to do with the toothbrush, though? Hold on, wait. Come on, Tommy. You know you gotta brush your teeth before we start fighting, like... Yeah, there's legit nothing in there I can do. Okay. I just keep turning down the sound in my headset because honestly it's just it's so loud like. Uh, but, 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 wait, 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 Tommy, 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 Tommy. Okay, what happens if I just take it off when I'm in the room? Or is he just going to say, like, no, you can't? <laughs> I shouldn't do that in here. Hmm. What if I take it off and open the door? What if I use stuff on the door? Um, what else can we use on the door like this and some wiring? No? Oh, I actually thought that was going to be it for a minute. I was like, I thought it was just like a fucking key card kind of thing. I would have been gas if it was. Yeah, I seriously don't know. Ugh. Ugh. You know, we're so close to the end of the game. I might actually just... Just let me go into this platform called YouTube.com. Nah, you know, it feels cheap if I do this, so I'm not going to actually do that. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to add that. I'm going to add that to watch later. Uh, what's happening? What's popping? Okay. Right. You don't know how tempted I am to actually just do things. I'm going to take, like, a quick break, right? And I'm going to let my brain cells, like, give them some time to relax, okay? So just bear me. I've decided that we're going to quit. <laughs> we're not even going to solve it. We are just going to quit. As you may be already able to see, I've already changed the topic. We are playing Jump King.
We had 132 followers, so we are going to play the Jumping King. I'm not going to lie, though. I did play this, like, I think a few days ago, and I didn't really make much progress, so... Yeah. My best, like, progress has still basically been on stream. I still haven't managed to beat my record yet. Um, let me think, Doc. Does this have a... It does, yes, yeah, I'm off to the side now. And you can see the Steam notification behind me is a bit weird looking, look. God, actually, let me just turn this down, my thing. Da 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 It's been a while, hasn't it, since I've actually streamed the game. Now we're back to podcast mode, like, essentially. Because with the other game, it's like, I have to really think a lot about what I'm... Oh, God. Off. As I was going to say, I have to think a lot more in the um, Captain game than I do with this game. At certain moments, obviously. Because, like, with the moments I'm in right now, it's kind of just, like... Essentially, it's just muscle memory, just remembering where I need to jump, like. I'll just be patient and wait. Bruh, I'm cringe. I'm actually so cringe. Why can't I reach it? Fine, I'll go up here instead, like. I guarantee the jump, like. I'm that washed, like, I swear to God, with Jump King. Oh, yeah, remember when I fucking hit that fucking jump to go to the other open side there? Why didn't I jump up at you? Yeah, fuck it. Oh! Oh, man, imagine. I'm just like, oh, no! Okay. We're good, we're good. I was gonna say, let's try something new, like... And it actually nearly looked good for a little bit there. This isn't really a good idea, is it? No. Nope. Now I'm... Oh, no, I'm still... The game has just... I don't know why the game's saving me so much. I know the game wants to fucking chuck me to the bottom so badly, like, I can feel it, like... Oh my god. Stop a gig while ya. Wait, no, that stopped working. Stop a gig, Sugra, there we go. Stop playing. I keep saying this, but I really do need to learn, like, Irish properly. I just think it would add a funnier element to my life, like, being able to speak a language that barely anybody else understands, like, Except, like, tens of thousands of people. Which is actually quite a bit when you think about that. I think it's tens of thousands, anyway. That was kind of smooth, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, jump. Oh my fucking god. But yeah, right now, I guess we'll give a little bit of a Sherry Arbor story update. Not much is happening with it right now. Um... <laughs> I've been, like, editing one of the other stories that I was, like, working on and had an idea about before. So, like, I haven't really continued Cherry Opera story yet. Um, I'm actually looking to get the instrumental for um, The Path to Our Savior. You might have heard that song during the ad break. Um, and it looks like I'll be able to get it for free, which is weird. I thought, like, for sure I'd be charged for it because, you know, like... I didn't ask for it in the order itself, but she and Ova's like, oh yeah, no, it's free. Like, I'll just get, I'll give it to you, like, tonight, like, whenever I get the chance. Or, well, he said, like, tonight, and I was like, oh, cool, then, uh, yeah, just take your time, like. So now I can actually <laughs> milk the song even more and make more, um, videos on Sherry Arbor's story. We can make the karaoke video, the instrumental only in, uh, video, the... We can even upload another one and just call it the off-vocal version of the video. And I can upload them to other platforms as well. And plus, I can do a cover of my own song as well. That's fun. I already sang, like, an attempt and... Well, two attempts today, like... I'm probably not going to use all of the, uh, the current takes, but... It's a start. And I was also thinking as well, because I did post a question not too long ago... When it comes to Sherry Arbor story characters, 
Oh, fuck's sake. Really? You, wow, you had to hit the wrong angle, like, didn't you? But, like, I was thinking, like, if the other characters were to sing songs, like, who would actually be the one that would, like, cover a song currently, you know? I think it's an interesting thought experiment. I only had four options on YouTube and Twitter, so I have, like, obviously Sherry is an option. Uh, Lila Corcoran, Claire, and then Joe Snowflare himself. Which I will say, what like I, I'm not gonna voice my own character. Like I, I, I think, yeah, unless like it's a certain other character that's not has the same ma name as me. Like Joseph Nightflyer will not voice Joseph Nightflyer. We're going Netflix adaptation style right here. Just gonna get someone that completely doesn't sound like Joseph Nightflyer to me at all. Like, but again, I'm not really sure who. I guess, like, an Irish voice actor would work well for Joseph Nightflyer. Because unlike me, I think I actually did make it where, like, Joseph Nightflyer is fully Irish and not, like, half and half, like I am. There's been, like, a lot of little details that I've put into Joseph Nightflyer over time that, like, didn't used to be there. Especially because I've been starting to try to, like, separate, like... You know, me, Joseph Nightflyer, the VTuber as Josie and all that. Uh, compared to Joseph Nightflyer, like, the hero in Sherry Arbor's story. Very similar, both of us. And, of course, a lot of, like, the story told about the characters similar to mine. But, like, there is a good bit difference, like, with certain things. <laughs> and no, it's not just because his hair is white and mine's not, like... There is actual differences, and especially with, like, I mean, this fella has been through stuff in his life that I'm never, hopefully never going to go through in my own life. Especially because he's been a hero for, like, years now. And I can't say the same myself. Other than uh, being out with my mate, actually, recently to watch the Spider-Man film, and actually seeing, like, smoke uh, build up in a fire, uh, flower bed, and be like, you know what, maybe we should, like, well, to be fair, it was my mate that was like, okay, maybe we should, like, put that out. I was like, yeah, actually, we should. And, um, yeah, we went into, the, like, the closest bar to the flower bed as well and asked for, like, water. They must have thought we were, like, like capping or something. Because one of the workers, like, came out was, like, looking. And, like, as I was coming back, I was like, oh, yeah, no, it was just, it was just over there in the flower bed. And I think we got it now. But it is a bit suspicious, just a like, random two people just going into a bar asking for some water to put out, like, a fire that hasn't even broke out yet, like. But hey, it's better for the, like, town to be safe than sorry. We saved that flower bed, alright? I'm not gonna hear it from anyone else. And the funniest part is, it was from a fucking cigarette butt. So any smoker listening to this, remember, do not throw your fucking cigarette butts into a flower bed. Those are fucking plants that can catch on fire! Actual fucking troglodyte memory, like. Like, I'm so disappointed that it was a cigarette butt as well, and it wasn't, like, a magnifying glass or, like, kind of effect going on, like, instead. Okay, what am I even doing here? I, I call, like, smokers their small brain for a minute, and I'm just small brain myself right now. Oh, my God. Wait, what? I, I don't even know why I went over this way, but... Oh, okay, cool. But, you know, seriously, that does annoy me so much. Like, bro, the bin wasn't even that far away. Like, the bin, seriously, is not that far away from it. And it doesn't really take that much effort to make sure you blow out the fucking thing. Like, and then, you know, make sure it's not fucking hot when you throw it in. Because, like, there was also webs in the flower bed as well, which is why it was also smoking up, like. Like, don't think just because it's a fucking plant it won't catch on fire, like. Have you seen what trees are made of, like? Oh, but what am I doing? Oh, Joe. No, what are you doing, man? You have fallen massively from grace, man. I can't care. For real, for real. But yeah, that's a, actually a scary thing I did mention to my mate as well. Like, that was the second fucking time that I've seen smoke from a fire that hasn't started yet in the last, like, two weeks. Like, what is going on? Like, is that a foreshadowing that, like, stuff is about to burn down? Should I actually start, like, 
Should I replace the thermal paste in my fucking computer, like, right now, just to be safe, like? Because I do have it in the fucking, in my press, but, like, I've never actually done it yet. I guess because my computer, like, it gets hot, but it doesn't get burning hot, like. Yeah, see, even now it's grand, like, it's not completely hot, it's just the temperature right now outside that's really affecting it. But, like, when I put my hand over the, um, CPU, like, it's cold. Well, okay, it's it. It's not freezing cold, but it's like windy cold, like breezy kind of cold. Not too cold, you know. Enough where hopefully the house doesn't burn down. Let me just touch wood there for a minute. Just, <laughs> um, yeah. It's madness, though. If I again, I swear, if I actually see another thing, like another fire about to fucking begin near me. I'm actually going to be fucking questioning everything. I actually will put the thermal paste into my computer. Taking it that it's like a fucking sign that I should probably do it now before the house burns down or some shit. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Joe. Concentrate. It's because I'm still thinking of topics to talk about that I'm doing so bad now in Jump King, like. I feel like just restarting the game, doing the first one again, just to see if I, like, am this bad. Or if I do better, like. Right, up we go. Hop over. No, hop. Skip. Jump. Uh, wait, why do I... Oh, you know what? Wasn't it, like, where I'm meant to go here? Yeah, that's it! And then I'm meant to go up here. Bro! Guardian! Yo! Okay, you were crushing it not too long ago. Get back out there. I think I keep saying this as well. With Destiny 2, I'm not really. Like, I'm not really playing it right now, to be honest. Even though the shit's not too bad this season, it's just. I don't know. I don't really have much reason to play it. Especially with the power cap now just being, like, essentially just frozen for the year. And at the same time, the new dungeon, like, I want to do it so badly a solo. But, like, the fucking boss phases take forever. And that's why I haven't solo flawless or, like, soloed, um... What's that dungeon called? The, um, Spire of the Watcher. Because, like, that has the same problem. Like, the bosses are just too tanky for a solo player to take on. Whereas, like, if I go into, like, Pit of Heresy, that's probably the best one for me. It's the, like, well, not the first time, but the best one I've, in, like, enjoyed. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I, I thought I'd give it a try. It's been a while since I've tampered around with the map. But yeah, until Bungie fix that shit, like, I'm not really gonna bother solo dungeons. Which is just such a shame, like, I fucking spend... The full hundred quid, but I can't even experience it, like. Like, fair enough not being able to do the whole raid, like, even though I have done the whole raid. But, like, well, actually, majority of the raid. Like, basically halfway through it. But, like, come on, man. Dungeons are, like, kind of the solo equivalent to a raid, like. It's, like, the highest form of difficulty mission that you can take on by yourself that's not with, like, you know, barrier champions and that shite in fucking, like, missions and whatnot. Oh, too much. What am I doing, man? I can't. Co I legit can't concentrate because the fucking heat that I'm feeling right now is just not nice. It's very distracting, which is why I keep doing that. Actually, let me, because I did put a shirt on because I was going to go out for a walk, but I decided to be uh, a Genshin Impact player today and just stay inside and not touch grass. Which actually, funny enough, I haven't even actually... Wait, did I? Actually, maybe I did. I can't remember. I don't think I played Genshin today. And I don't think we really will on stream, honestly. Unless I have a reason to. Like, maybe if it was a follower goal or something like that. And I think as well, with the follower goals that have me returning to games, I think I'm going to start whittling down on how many games can be, uh... Like, return to game. Like, maybe we'll do a wheel kind of thing for it. So one, like, part of the wheel would say, return to Jump King. Another part would say, return to the Captain. Another part would say, um, what you call it? 
Uh, actually, no. Actually, no. It'd be still in the same wheel. It'd be like play Overwatch comp. Well, not Overwatch comp, but uh, Destiny 2 comp. And so on and so forth. I think I should start squishing down some of the goals. Rather than having that long list and having it be so far away. I think random chance elements are more fun as well when it comes to the follower goal sort of thing. Now, not if you're playing Gacha. That's a different story. But it actually depends what game you're playing with Gacha. Oh my god. Literally, just reset all my progress, why don't you, Joe? Okay, I think you actually heard me and you thought I was being serious. I'm not being serious, Joe. Please, for the love of fucking god, just get up here, please. Thank you. Okay, that this will work, I think. It won't work. Wait, no, it will. It will. Told you it will work. It will work. There we go. Ah, oh. ah Balski. I meant to say balls ski, but then Balski came out, and I thought of KSI's head. That was a very hilarious moment in time when you think about that, having his whole head shaved. And I'm sorry to be disrespectful, but, like, am I the only one that kind of saw his, like, haircut and thought, hmm, I don't really like that. <laughs> it just, I don't know if it's just me, but, like, I was freaking out. I was like, what the fuck? How, what did you do to your hair? I don't know. I can't say any different because I don't really have a hairstyle myself. It's just is what it is. Literally, when I go, like, to my dad, like, to get my hair cut, I'm like, J yeah, just cut, like, an inch off everywhere, like, essentially. Or not an inch off, but like down to an inch. I don't have any specifications of like having a fade or growing my hair out longer or anything like that. Even like with my facial hair now. Like on the 1st of June, I actually did like just shave my whole face, even my mustache as well. And it was actually weird taking a shower just there because it's like, oh damn, fucking the um water I can actually feel it in my mustache area and my beard area now like that part of my face isn't foreign to water anymore because of the fucking lack of hair there holding the water back up oh, what why Joe why <laughs> why though um but yeah no my fucking facial hair uh, sections of my face aren't now uh they're not alien to the concept of having water trickle down them now and it's weird as well, because even my lips were kind of shielded from all the hair on my face, like, and now they're not. Up we go. Come on, lads, let's believe we can beat the record today. Definitely. I'm definitely not stalling as I'm thinking of more topics. Because, to again, this is literally all we really do for this, like, for Jump King. I literally just play and I just talk about life and stuff. I really should just not bother upload stuff to the Clips channel anymore, should I? Or at least, like, when the Joe's Night Flyer channel is quiet, that's when I should upload clips to that channel. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, there we go. Um, Mainly just because, like, is there really a point in me having two channels for, like, essentially the same shit, you know? Because even in a sense as well, the like, archive channel could be used to archive VODs as well. But at the same time, I put the VODs onto um, the Joe's Night Flare channel. Because that's just what it's become, you know? Like, a lot of the top videos on the channel are literally just VODs. Or just a collection of videos strung together. Which also include VODs. You know? Ah! There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm actually legit losing my touch. I might have to concentrate here for a minute, but at the same time, I'm just going to keep talking, just because I can, you know? Who's to tell me to not talk on my own stream, you know? Oh, fuck's sake. Unless um, Mr. Clancy comes here himself and says, uh, Joe, can you please stop talking for a minute? Then, you know, I would uh, actually stop. Which, by the way, if you don't know... Um, is it Dan Clancy or Tom Clancy? Something like that. No, not Tom Clancy. That's the video game guy. Um, I say Mr. Clancy as in the actual CEO of Twitch, basically. 
Seems like a pretty chill dude. He kind of gives me that vibe of like what um, Susan Wojcicki was like when she started branching out and learning what creators are like and what they do and all that. I just hope that like, I don't know, he does good for the platform. That's all I can all, all, like hope for, honestly. And I mean, it sounded like he literally was CEO as like when they had alerts added into things. So it's a good start, like. But it's a pity people don't talk about stuff like that. Because it's, you know, positive news. Like, we're always inundated with cancellation and negative news and all that shit. And people are too focused, like, on YouTube as well. Because YouTube is, like, the main platform for video content, like. But don't forget about little old Twitch in the back. If you do, it'll creep up on your YouTube. And I think as well, they are experimenting as well with trying to add a little, um... Clips feature that's kind of like a TikTok real uh, YouTube shorts kind of feature. But I don't think it's going to be in the same aspect ratio. I think it's going to be in the, um, whatchamacallit, it's going to be in the same, uh, oh, what's the aspect ratio again? Not 6 by 3, fucking, not 4 by 3. I legit can't remember. The aspect ratio you're watching this video in right now, most likely. Oh, fuck's sake. Um, yeah, it's going to be in that. It's not going to be vertical, I don't think. It's basically going to be horizontal. As far as I remember, anyway. I do think that feature will be good for discoverability on Twitch. Because, like, on Twitch, all you really have for discoverability is people that are just willing to go to the um, bottom of, like, the... Uh, whatchamacallit... The bottom of a topic to see people with like not much viewers and going from there you know or seeing who's at the top and seeing what they're up to as well you know there's nothing really for like the middlemen of twitch when you think about it oh shit like let's say somebody's streaming fortnite right and they're like let's say they have like a thousand viewers or something like that actually i don't even know Okay, look, let's pretend they're just in the middle of the Fortnite category. They have the right amount of viewers to be in the middle. Like, it must be difficult for them, in a sense, to grow, you know? Because, like, they, you know, they're stuck in the middle. Like, people don't really just, you know, randomly scroll and check, like, the middle of the Fortnite category. Unless they're doing a random uh, chance kind of thing. Or playing a game that involves picking people in the middle of Twitch topics and going from there, you know? Whereas if you're on top of a topic, you're going to be the most promoted in that topic and people are most likely going to see you. And then for the people who just want to find like a streamer that's just starting out, it's pretty easy because all you do is literally like go to the bottom or I think there's a filter option for it as well to go to the bottom like of a topic. Anyway, I'm sorry. I was going to stop rambling like. Basically, Twitch kind of clip short kind of feature might be really good. That's all I need to say. I Can I go that? You know, I've always been trying to go up that way. Can I not just go the other way? It's not full, is it? Okay, it's not full. No! Balls. I might try the other way if I have patience for it. No, I don't have the patience for it. I'm going to go to the bottom. No, never mind. I'm not going to the bottom. I'm not jinxing myself just like that. We're in Underberg. That's all. Thank God. All right, mate. You like being in Birmingham. God save the king and all that. Actually, isn't, like, the King of England, like, meant to be, like, really old right now? Like, you, you know, actually, that's insane to think about. Like, it's kind of morbid when you think about that, but, like, if he fucking croaks, like, that's going to be the second time the British monarch has been replaced in the same century, like. In, the, like, for at least for me in my lifetime, like, which is so weird. Oh, my God, seriously. I blame... No! I literally blame my nose. Hold on.
my nose distracts me. And like that's a weird thing as well when I have like a shaved uh, mustache. Like my fucking skin has contact with the tissue again, which is so weird. So it's usually my mustache that just has contact with it, not the skin underneath it. 18 hours, 51 minutes, 54 seconds, 2,000, or 29,000, sorry, 948 jumps, 2,960 falls. No! Thank God the wind's doing what it's doing, man. I, it actually saved me for once, like. I probably said that multiple times and the wind has actually saved me more than once, like, honestly. This is where I waste a lot of my jumps, honestly, just jumping up on the spot. Oh my god. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. But yeah, actually, I just realized that there. I actually, like, still don't really know if I'm going to do, like, a um, 4 to do lie kind of event or not. Like, follow a goal event. All I do know is it's going to be a while before an event even happens. Unless I do, like, a little summer event or something. Maybe I will, actually. Why not? Have my own, like, actual, like, semi-original kind of event kind of an idea. Why did I do that like that? I could have full sended that and it would have been perfect, but... Anyway, we move, because we're still up. Because, you know, it is going to be a whole month before... Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, no, we're good. It's going to be a whole month before another follower get, uh, event comes up, so... Well, I say a whole month, but the 1st of June technically was, like, when the, uh birthday event like concluded so I do know next year that my um video anniversary thing I don't think I'm going to do that for other videos if anything actually I should look into like when the twitch channel's birthday is or at least maybe the first like stream day of when I started um what you call it streaming on twitch again in 2021 I think that's an important date that I should probably celebrate, but that'll be like, I think September time before I even get to that, or end of August. I can never make that jump back up, honestly. At that point, I might as well just fall on purpose. Oh, you fine? <laughs> just, you good there? Don't let the pylon, you know, uh, Jesus, word, Joe, word, uh, pierce you. Fucking hell. I was thinking of impregnate, I'm like, no, that... Joe, that's not how that works. You don't just get a rod shoved inside of you and then some... In certain cases, a rod may be inserted within you and you may be... Yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> it's just... My brain's just sleeping now. It's not thinking. It's just saying at this point. Damn, some bad guys. Nah, if there was bad guys in this, I'd actually be so annoyed. You know, the worst part about this part up here is that there's no moving parts other than the rain, and I'm still doing really bad. Like, the screen isn't shaking. There's no ice, so I'm not slipping. There's no quicksand, so I'm not sinking in the blocks I'm jumping onto. There's no snow to stick me still. I'm just bad. Like, that's all this section has taught me. Is that I'm bad at the game. Okay, I can kind of see now why I don't go that way. Unless I just do the... Oh, wait. Okay, let me move the flask first out of the way. Just before I chuck it at the screen. Right back. No! What are you doing? I kind of want to get to the bird, but I'm also just not arsed as well. I could jump up to that block, couldn't I? That makes that so much easier! You don't understand how much easier that is now. Oh, for fuck's sake. And you still fuck up anyway. Wait, what are you doing? No, Judge Joe. No! We're good. Okay, we're not, we're not. It's no bueno. Okay, Joe, remember. Literally, your fucking muscles have the memory of doing these jumps perfectly. Just tap into that muscle memory, and it'll all go fine. Trust me. So you do. 
You don't do that. That's what I know. You, you don't just do that. I want to jump so badly here, but I know I'm going to go flying off the edge if I do, like... Imagine if I could jump up that way, whilst it's blowing backwards on me. Or in my face as I'm trying to jump up. Right. You can tell it's serious hours right now when I'm actually fucking silent, like. Or trying to be silent. But then I commentate on the fact that I'm silent and I keep talking about it, like. No! <sighs> Balls. Can I put my balls in your jaw? Fuck jaws. Balls in your jaw. Can I? Can I? Oh, can I get up? Fella. Fella really just did that to me. Fella actually just did that to me. Are you fu- No, no, stop. I'm actually- I'm actually gonna die. I'm actually- my heart can't take this. My heart can't take this pain. Please, I beg. We were doing good. We were making new progress that I've never made before. Well, in a sense of finding a new way up. Don't do this to me, please. I beg. Just, just, just let me run up. And I'll clap her cheeks in no time. Alright? Is that, is that fair? That sound? Yeah? At least I'm trusting that this babe is real and not like the last one where I don't think they were real? Or something like that? But then again, this is- no, this is new babe plus, so the last one was real, right? It's the last one that's like, questionable, right? Because I think it's ghost of the babe? Which, honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna- I say I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but let's be real, I think I am going to do it and it's just gonna be like a background thing I pop into every so often just to see how I progress in it. But for sure, though, I'm never playing a mod of this game. If I played a mod of this game, I would actually probably destroy the room I'm currently residing in. See, when I want to, I know I'm jinxing myself now. When I want to, I can actually do fucking bits, right? We went straight from the bottom there. Or left from the bottom, but like straight from fucking somewhere in the king's like keep. And now we're like... Just progressing smoothly up here. If it weren't for the wind, I'd already probably be up in the next section, like. That's the only reason I'm still down here. I wonder if those are sulfur clouds behind me. I think I mentioned that at the start of the game as well, but like, they are pretty sulfur looking. And you know you're in a good spot when you hear the music at a certain, like, jump. Or landing spot. Ah, oh, too much. I was going to say trust in the muscle memory, but look what muscle memory brought me. You finished? Oh, no. Stop, please. I beg, please, actually stop, please. I'm actually going to cry. I pulled back really well there, but I've fucked myself twice as hard, like. <sighs> okay. I probably have mentioned multiple times before how I'd like to do streams with people again. It's, just, eh, it's a matter of time, I swear down. I say that as I don't really stream much anymore. To be honest though, actually, collabing with people would give me an excuse to stream more. 
Because sometimes I just take those days where, like, I'm just busy doing other shit and I just don't really want to spend the time streaming, you know? It's always healthy, anyway, to take some breaks from everything that you do. Even though the first, I, well, like, first of June, I was literally editing thumbnails for clips, like... But I think that was, like, the height of the work, anyway. I wish I still had my Netflix subscription so I could have finished, like, Breaking Bad. I wish Netflix just gave me a free day, you know? Just like, hey, you know what? Ha have a free day on us. You just recently subbed, but we'll give you a free day because it's your birthday. I would have actually finished Breaking Bad if they did. Because I... Where I'm left with on um, Breaking Bad is, um... Season 5... Episode 5, I think it was? Episode 5 or 6? And, like... You know, that's basically halfway through the final season. And I still haven't watched it yet. Like, there's some clips and stuff that are coming up on YouTube, and they're kind of like... I, I kind of already know how it's going to end, I just want to see it play out. But at the same time, I wish YouTube would stop recommending me, like, the actual end. Like, they just... They, they see that I like Breaking Bad, but they don't know why I like Breaking Bad, you know? They don't know where I've stopped at, like... But I did see, like, the kind of behind the scenes of, um... Gustavo's, like, uh... Like, makeup for the final scene of, uh, I think it was the final season's final scene of season four. But yeah, I think season three and four have to be the most banging seasons so far, anyway, for Breaking Bad. Whenever I get back to it, I gotta finish it and then actually, like, review, like, what five was like compared to the others. And at the same time, I need to watch that movie as well. Oh, shit. I need to watch the Breaking Bad movie, and then I need to watch Better Call Saul. And I think Better Call Saul had, like, a cameo appearance in, like, She-Hulk or something like that. Because so I swear I seen, like, a clip about it, unless it was, like, a meme or something. But I think that'd be funny, though, if that was actually the case. But then again, I think it might have been a meme, because I think She-Hulk is meant to be, like, an attorney general herself or something like that. She deals with law and stuff like that. I still, I don't actually know much else about She-Hulk because I never really watched it because people just said it's bad. But I do know little bits about it just because of like memes and stuff that talk about it. It is such a shame though, like out of all the MCU stuff that's come out recently, like the only good thing has been like probably Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. But then again, this is coming from a guy that hasn't actually watched everything that the MCU has put out this last, or this current phase, so. I don't know. All I can imagine is that they're probably going to be like, I don't imagine them doing much more phases after this current phase. I feel like they're just going to like, actually no, there is going to be like a Fantastic Four reboot, isn't there? Like another one? Because like... Marvel, like, have the rights to Fox or something like that, and they have access to Fantastic Four, so they want to have them in for, like, a, um, whatchamacallit, they want to have them in for the next phase of the, uh, MCU or the current phase, whichever, because I think we're in phase five, and I'd imagine they're probably going to do, like, another phase after this phase, because this current phase of Marvel is basically building back up, like, from the tail end of, like, Endgame and all that. And then Phase 6 is probably where the next big bad comes in and wreaks havoc and stuff happens, you know? Speaking of, like, Marvel Disney stuff, actually. I know they're... They, I think they announced that, like, Star Wars Visions was going to get a second season, but I don't... I'm not going to lie. I didn't really find... To, oh, wow. This is unusual to be thrown straight in here. I'm not really finding much of the vision animations that, like interesting this time. But then again, I probably am just like observing and just judging for no reason. I mean, I'll be honest though, if Trigger do like another episode for Star Wars Visions season two, I actually will like <laughs> buy Disney Plus again just to watch it like. And then whilst I'm at it, I'll watch a lot of the MCU stuff that's come out recently. Yeah, we're stuck in this loop once again. Just literally going round and round and round in a circle. 
Like, how many times have we seen these, like, particles on screen? Blowing from one way to another. It's almost as mesmerizing as it was once before. Before, when I had two eyes, Guardian. <laughs> no joke, please, don't, don't actually say that out loud. <laughs> it's just a funny phrase, but I don't know if I want to be heard saying it. Oh yeah, no, I can jump straight to thing. That's a bit much, but like, I get the spirit. Oh, see, J Joe, just turn off your brain. Your brain should have no input on this. Just let your muscles do the memory -ing 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 and all that. I feel like a TTS bot that just freaked out there for a moment, just saying like thing ing 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 ing. Oh. Scratching the noggin. You know, I actually keep forgetting as well that I need to like I might change like some of the alerts back to the way they were. Or I might just look at different gifts to use as uh, alerts. Because I do kind of miss the, like, um, whatchamacallit, the raid one where it was, like, the Anya face just being surprised. Oh, my, no. Oh, I should have, yeah. Ha! I'm literally listening to my brain when I don't even have to. Like, I just need to let my fucking hands do the work. But I just don't want to for some reason. Like, see, there, I doubted myself, let go early, thinking, like, for no reason. There's no need to think, mister. Just do it, Mr. Nightflyer. <sighs> this will decide if I end the stream. Oh my fucking god. Okay, we're not ending the stream yet. We're not ending the stream yet. We're still here. We're still here. Brother in hell. Okay, come on. Please, I beg. Game, don't be the... Stop. What What even happens up there? Nothing. That's the, that's the answer. You're just meant to say nothing. I'm so flawless. Like, I actually would have had this done already if the game stopped glitching out. Like, I swear to <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm literally just starting to blame everything but myself. Very typical of uh, certain people. Where you just start blaming everything else but yourself. Look inwards and go on a spiritual journey. Maybe then you'll be able to heal yourself. Oh. Just let me take my headphones off for a minute. Actually, I needed to rub that out. I forgot to rub that out on the board. Uh, yeah, rub that one out as well, actually. There we go. I do know, um, whatchamacallit. Ow. That hurt. I do know... Uh, when it comes to D3, I might actually just wait before making it. So I might make it in line with, um, whatchamacallit, with, uh, I might make it in line with making the next update video for Sherry Arbor Story. Just so I, just so I don't have to do twice the work, you know? I don't have to reiterate the same points in D3. I could literally, ju literally just play the exact same video, just like... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. But yeah, as I was saying, don't, like, I don't have to record the same video twice. I literally could just play the Sherry Arbor Story update video in the video itself. And then, yeah, I can cut that part of the video out for the Sherry Arbor Story channel. There we go. J 
Joe, you're smashed. It's just like, I'm literally just trying to compliment myself. Just give myself a tad bit of an ego boost, but no. That's not enough. Oh yeah, shit, I just remember there. Fucking GameStop is literally going to be leaving, I think, in like the next two weeks or so. I think it's like the 14th or 17th of June or something like that. And what is it? Uh, today's the 4th, isn't it? Yeah, today's the 4th. So like, not too long now. And then soon GameStop won't exist. I have considered actually, like, buying a Switch, I'm not gonna lie. I don't, like... I kinda don't know why, but I also kinda just wanna just let myself have one. Just for, as a reward, you know, for, like, hanging on in there in life. Now, I don't think I'd really do anything Nintendo-related on stream or anything like that, but... It'd be just cool to have. Cool to play some of Nintendo's games, like... You know, on the Switch before they released a new one. Then there was also like a PS4 on offer as well that I was kind of tempted to get as well. My mate was like, oh yeah, no, maybe you should like just get a PS5 at that point. But at the same time, like, I mean, I don't really know if I want a full on like PS5, you know. I kind of just want the PS4 to play certain games that I can't play on um, PC and then go from there, you know. I say I'd play Bloodborne, but I actually wouldn't really play Bloodborne. It's not really. <laughs> it's just... Just like Elden Ring and other farm software games, it's not my kind of game. I'm too bad at them to justify the purchase of a console just for that game. Now I'd be playing those idle games and all that that you can't find on the other consoles. What other games could I play? I don't know, there's- I swear there's like- there's definitely other games anyway on the PS4 that are exclusive to PS4 and they're just not on thing. I wouldn't really bother buy Spider-Man again though, I already played that on PC, I, I've already had enough of it. I'll wait till the second Spider-Man game comes out for uh, PC in like next 10 years. I could probably actually play The Last of Us, right? Unless that's a PS5. That might be a PS5 exclusive. I can't remember that. And I think Uncharted is in a PS4 exclusive and all that. Like there's a lot of different games, like probably, maybe. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, now that I weigh my options, the Switch actually would be better value because there'd be a lot more games I play. I'd even play some old like uh, Nintendo games that I haven't played in a while, like like the Mario 3D World and all that. Because last time I played that was on my like 3DS like years ago, like. I don't know. Because for me, like when I purchase a good lot of stuff, like if it's not food or beneficial to me, like clothes, I have a hard time justifying its purchase. Which is also why I save up so much money, is because I literally cannot spend it, like. Or else my mind is like, eh, why are you spending it on this, though, you know? I think I'm just scared that I'm going to go on a fucking spending spree at some point, but I don't think I'm ever going to do that, honestly. Like, not willingly, anyway. I don't know. I'm also saving again because, like, as I mentioned before in the past, like, if I do, like... Oh, my God. Why am I not full sending that? As I said before in the past, if I, um... If I do move house in the next, like, year or so, it'd be nice to have the money there so that I can actually afford new things for, like, the, my new room and all that, you know? Because, like, a lot of the stuff that I have here in this room currently is... Dealt, like, a lot of it's going to be, like, filtered out. Like... I'm gonna probably dub the kind of uh, event if it does happen the fucking great filter because like I'm actually gonna be like right this shit ain't coming with us to the new house it either gets dumped given to the charity shop or just given away to someone else oh my god what am I doing I'm actually throwing okay I'm not entirely throwing I'm kind of smart like that though So, like, for example, all, like, the old drawings I had, like, from when I was, like, younger. Like, all the door signs I used to put up. I pr Oh, my God. What are you doing? <sighs> I'd probably, like, dump all them. Even though, to be fair, I'm kind of in the thought process of, like, whether I should dump them or I should just, like, uh, do thing to them. See, this is why you wait for the wind to stop or just build up, Joe. 
Um, what you call it? Yeah, so stuff like that obviously would go. Uh, maybe my spare phone that would probably go as well because I literally just do not use it. And like, even if I did need a new phone, I literally could just go and get a new one easily. So like, it's not too much of an effort. Especially if I needed to get a bus up to a place, like, it's not as hard as it used to be to get stuff like that now. And again, I am saving a lot of money, so, like, I could just use that. Ah, oh, um, sorry, there's fucking water. Like, sometimes my flask just, like, leaves water behind it. It's so annoying. It's just the way I pour the flask into my mouth. Ah, uh, what else? Let me see. I'd say, like, when it comes to clothes, for sure, I'm probably going to bring a lot of them. I don't think I'm going to, like, dump them. Unless it's, like, absolutely necessary. Like, maybe I inspect, like, every piece of clothing I have just to see, like, if it has a hole in or not. And then be like, eh, we could just throw that in the charity bag. Like, not the re charity recycling bin bag. <laughs> just to be clear, not the... We're not just going to give a charity shop, like, clothes with, like, Swiss cheese kind of holes in it, like... Um, what else would happen? I'm not really sure, honestly. Like, the event would have to occur for me to actually realise, like, what I'd be getting rid of and what I'd be keeping and all that. Like, obviously, for sure, like, Floppy is following me to the next house. Like, there's no doubt about that. Sorry, I, I keep fucking itching my nose. That's why, like, I'm not jumping as much. Because my nose hairs are fucking annoying the shit out of me. Um, oh my god, really? Dude! I think I've already mentioned this as well, though, but I don't think I'd really do much um, IRL things anymore. Even, like, with the webcam follower goal and stuff, I'd probably take that out completely, even from, like, the bench section. And so on and so forth. Okay, hold on. I need to fucking sort my nose out right now. <laughs> Where's the fucking nose uh, scissors? Let me pull them out real quick. Got it as a Christmas present a few Christmases ago, and it actually does come in handy sometimes. I You definitely did not get shit there at all. It'd be a lot easier if I had a mirror in front of me, but... <laughs> right. I'm going to put this back in here, but I'm going to leave this on my desk. So if my nose fucking annoys me again, I have something I can use to help it out. But yeah, nose hairs that fucking protrude out of your nose are just so annoying, man. I just wish they didn't, you know? Just, just simply just don't. Just stop. Stop being cringe, like. To be honest, though, for me, that's a really hard ass to stop being cringe. Right, up we go. Up we go. One day we will see the white palace above us again. And nope, never mind. I've ruined my hopes and dreams. I took a risk doing that. I really should not risk things like that. I'm kind of convinced the tower does have, like, a secret entrance I just never see. Yeah, no, I won't, because, yeah, see, I'm walking into it there, and it's not doing anything. I kind of still wish I kept my crown. Because <laughs> it really looks like I just jumped straight into New Bay Plus without, like, doing thing. The skip wasn't really necessary. I would have been able to handle it, for sure. For real, for real, no cap. You know, I'm not even going to explain myself. I'm, j I'm just going to go. <laughs> just j just keep going. Just keep going until you fall down to the ice section, Joe. I know what you're going to do. Because like. there's no way you're going to quit when you're like dropping only this amount down. You'd have to drop a shit ton before you quit this. like, And that's what I hate about this so much. Thank you for letting me in. I feel bad for these people. How do they, like, get around? 
If they don't have the jumping prowess I have, like, how do they just do life, man? Must be really hard, bro. Oh my, no. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, th 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 this is it. This is my breaking point. Okay. Right. Okay. To be fair as well, I don't really want to quit now. It feels like way too early to quit. But at the same time, I probably should quit now before I fall farther down. Like, get a good pot of beans and have a little munch, you know? Maybe cook a slice of toast, or toast a slice of toast, whichever saying works better. Toast a toast a toast. Toast a toast. Wait, you toast a toast but you don't cook to cook? No way. I thought we all cooked to cook. I just realized back in the captain, that fella that was in cryosleep, we probably could have actually used them as our fucking, like, crew member if I didn't accidentally cut them up into multiple little pieces. Those outer rim guys were weird. Oh yeah, I just realized though, in the captain, because I give him away all my weapons and stuff, I probably can never fly and actually fight now. If I get into a battle, I am just immediately dead. They're not even going to bother with, like, telling me, hey, you should probably just, uh, know this, but, you know, you're not going to be able to fight back, so, uh, have fun. <sighs> okay. We're back in the section I struggle with the most, and why I fought... I'm just going to read my Irish passport for a minute. Iran, Air, Nautai, Irakta, August, Tradala, Na Erin, Ergok, Nian Lena, Menon, Lagan Da, Skel, Kyor, Sha, Sornok, Da Erin, Gale Hill Air, Agid Gon, Ockon, Karsagos, Gok, Kunov, August, Kom Hu, Iska A, Tari, Dun, Sealer. I can't read half it, so I can't even fucking tell you a thing. Now let me just read out everything on my passport. Let me just give you my passport number real quick. It is in here, isn't it? The pages of this is really nice. It's kind of over fucking like, what you call it? It's over. Um, it's over fucking detailed, and it's no wonder the fucking passport costs so much, like. Yeah, that's so weird. I'm just looking at the stamp date here, and it's just like mad. Why did it get stamped with an October one? I didn't even use it in October. This <laughs> is okay. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, there it is. The DHS. I don't know why they like stamped me on fucking page sixteen and seventeen as well. Like, I literally, all my other pages are blank, but they're like, oh, we'll just open up a random page, bam, there you go. I never even filled that detail before, but I sure look at If I lose my passport, I lose my passport. Right, that was a nice refresh to just do something different. That was also a nice refresh. I really needed that refresh so badly, man. I needed to just hit my fucking head against a wall. Just so I can see a bit of blood and remember that I'm actually a human being and I'm alive, like. Okay. Now can I just get back in the tower, please? Thank you. Just let your brain 
or your muscle do all the work. Don't let your brain do the work. When your brain do work, brain do bad. Muscle do good because muscle strong. Muscle good memory. Fuck. Oh, no, actually that works. No, come on. What if I just paused everything we were doing now just to look at what Spongebob AI is up to? Nah. Oh my, what are you doing? I'm actually throw. I swear to God, I'm actually fucking throw. I am actually throwing at this point. I like. How would you explain my behavior in this fucking game, man? I'm actually just throwing, and I hate it so much. Like, my body is conspiring against me finishing this fucking game. Like, as I said, like before, we're eight, like 19 hours into the game, and I still haven't completed it yet. <sighs> I do know, though, if we ever do, like, another big charity stream or something like that, this would not be a mad section of it. There's no way. I could, I, if I did, like, if I included Jump King into a charity stream, that would be the whole charity stream. We would not do anything else but fucking Jump King. And that would be depressing. I'm literally nerfing my brain right now by blurring my eyes. This might be unhealthy for my eyes, but... <sighs> I'm actually gonna slam this desk. It, it's coming, I'm, I swear, it's, it's coming. Just not yet. Okay, now, right, down the tower, through there, quick tier list, by the way, on uh, peas and sweet corn, uh, sweet corn's probably, like, top, and then peas are below it, sweet corn basically is better than peas, but I'll still eat peas, though, but then if we throw beans into the mix and start comparing, yeah, beans are better, beans. I actually just stop what I'm doing, just get some beans right now, like. But the problem with eating beans now is just it's fucking warm, man. And, like, the beans would be fucking roasting, like, to eat right now. Unless I literally just left them in, like, under the fan to cool, like. I remember when I used, like, my little fan before to start, like, fanning out the fucking computer below me, like. That's the only other reason I can actually feel the computer below me's, like, heat, like, pour out. Is just because, like, I fucking... I, I, I risk this every year now. Probably the third year in a row. But, like, I... Oh, my God. But I leave the fucking computer's, um... I leave the computer's, uh, cover off. For fuck's sake! Why?! I'm, I'm nah. Up. 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 Ha. Huh. So if the stream suddenly cuts out, you know why. It's because I literally kicked my computer's parts in. And I have to get replacements. You know, funny enough, I actually would still be able to stream Jump King. <laughs> Even after, like, that, I just have to use my old computer and just download Jump King onto that, like. But then we'd be very limited in what I could stream. And the, uh, OBS layout would be entirely different as well. Okay, see, we've made it here now. Joe, full. Cool. Turn. Walk, full. Full. Wait. Walk. Full. Wait. Turn. Walk. Full. A bit. Turn. A bit. Full. A bit. Full. 
A bit. A bit. A bit. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for having mercy on my fucking soul, man. My soul is actually deteriorating as we speak, man. And it's because I'm playing this game. I know this town inside out. Oh, it's, he's literally tutorialing me when I'm 19 hours into the game. Thank you. What's wrong, Joe? You run out of conversation topics? Why are you so quiet, bro? You're not going to complete the game. Like, come on. Just give it up. Come on. Just take a rest, man. If I were to imagine, by the way, I probably will be um, going and get out again during the weekend. I just don't know who with and what we're doing. But it really seems like I'm going out like every weekend, which is kind of nice, honestly. Even though, to be fair, this week it was like Friday, but it just counts as weekend anyway. Oh my god. I'm actually kind of thinking maybe of going out tomorrow as well. Okay, game, can you fucking quit that? Like, bro... That's so childish, like, to just fucking do that to me. Just because I started talking and I wanted to, like, talk about shit, like. Jump before it does it. Gotcha. Good spot to jump. Good spot to jump. You know, unlike previous, like, years where, like, it took me, like, probably a little bit longer than usual to, like, or not longer than usual, but just, it took me a little while to get used to being a new age. I think I'm already used to me, my, like, myself being 23 now. Like, I, I just kind of, yeah, I just kind of accept that I'm 23 and I'm, like, not really, well, to be fair, not many situations have come up yet where I've had to write down my age, so maybe that's why. But I'm already just used to being 23. And the only difference is, is the number. That's it. I've, ju I've just gone up in age. But I'm still just as bad as games as I was when I was 22. And 22 being four days ago. <sighs> I wish I could hit the shot to go in there again. But that, again, that was a rare opportunity. So rare that I had to clip it as well. Or I think Lab clipped it for me or something like that. Someone, I think, clipped it at the time. Because that was just something that could never be just replicated. Well, I say it could never be replicated, but I think it was replicated again, like, afterwards. But I can't do that here right now. Because, you know, I'm not 22 anymore, I'm 23. My senses are dulling already, like... Thank you. I'll take the victories one at a time. There's a secret jumping strategy in the wind. Try jumping straight up. Oh yeah, no, I already know that. Yeah, you meant to keep a lookout. That's cool. Bad guys, yeah. Imagine bad guys in Jump King. The only bad guy in Jump King is literally the fucking gravity. Like, the gravity is the main villain of this whole game. And everything else is its underlings. The wind, the fucking ice, the snow. This quicksand. The crows. Especially the crows. All the enemies. All the enemies. Don't be impatient, just do it carefully. And right. That's most important, just do it right. Fill yourself with the confidence that your muscle knows what to do. 
and then just let it take you forward, you know? I'm not gonna lie, whoever just screamed outside there, can you not do that again, please? Kinda cringe, like screaming in the 21st century, to be honest. Come be me. I definitely didn't feel a scream welling up inside of me right there, like... I, like, legit, my fucking brain is literally stopping me from progressing. Like, every single time I think about it, and that's why I stop early and I don't do it right. It just annoys me so much. It's a fucking mental battle, this, trying to convince your brain to just let your, like, hands do the work. Like, just turn away from the screen and just watch it on OBS or something instead. Like, maybe then you'll have a better chance, like... I, I, you know, I know I just said, like, thing is a joke, but I kind of am actually watching this on OBS, like, as a means of just trust. Oh, no! Okay, no, it's, we're, we're good. As a means of trusting my hands with the work. Okay, unironically, this is actually kind of working. <laughs> I'm, I'm still looking at OBS, if you couldn't tell from my model looking to the uh, side. Now my brain got in the way again. Okay, I'll go back to normal screen. Brain, stop! Seriously, you're fucking me over here. Just let, we don't need to chart a new course. We just need to literally do the same thing we've been doing previously. Again, just let the muscle memory kick in. Let it work. Let it do its magic like. I said let it do its magic, and what did you just do? Like, we can do this. I know I can do this. It's just a matter of just stopping my brain from getting in the way of fucking victory, man. Oh my god, my lungs hurt, man. Or are aching from the fucking stress of all this shit, man. It's just not worth it. It ain't worth it, Jeeve. It ain't worth it. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm literally playing this. Oh, fuck. Blech. Okay, jo Joe, stop trying to play it with your hand. Just one hand. Just use both hands. There's nothing shameful about using both your fingers. Fingers, hands. Cool. Je sens pas cool. Brother in hell. Oh no, brother in arms. That's the phrase I'm thinking of. Just trying to say it a bit differently. Brother in arms. <sighs> and this is also why I don't really play Jump King much during streams anymore. It really just turns into, like, a silent fest of me just, like, silently trying to progress for a few hours and not making any progress, like. Like, we haven't even poked our head up into the last section above us, like. I'm actually gonna slam my head on my desk, like. Ha. <sighs> I was going to say, ah, oh, maybe if I just close my eyes, like, I'll do better. Like, just turn up the volume of my headset again and just listen to the wind and all that. But no. Blindfold is not the way for me. <laughs> like, I know it has been done by people before. But I'm not one of those people that are going to do that. I just need to get my brain in, like, tune, you know? And have as many distractions to clear out as much as I can. <sighs> it's 
See, this is... <laughs> bro, why am I thinking? Like, stop thinking about what you need to do and just let your muscle memory do it. Please, for the love of fucking God, like... Man, whoever invented thinking really needs to, like, rethink of what they were fucking thinking of at the time when they first thought to think, like. <sighs> I'll be honest, I can't even hear when the wind changes anyway because, like, the fucking fan in the back is a bit too loud for it. And I'm also just not turning up my headset enough just for the... Game sounds. It's <sighs> 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 just, uh, just like, ah, uh, it hurts. It really does hurt. Like, I just, I just need to lean against this wall for a minute. It's just pain. Right. I'm gonna take a quick lunch break. Won't be too long. Just give me like a few minutes. Okay. Actually, wait one second. It <laughs> just like literally goes and then comes back, but then goes again. No, I'm still here. I'm just turning around my uh, cushion pillow for my chair because, as you can imagine, it's a bit sweaty. Bro, we were on 29,000 jumps and we're on 31. What? How? <laughs> I even had silver coins to be honest. Mm. Excuse me. Oh, you lover. I can't. It's like legit, you could have had that, but you just chose not to. Thank you. Oh, man, I actually want to eat more now. <laughs> Now that I re like when I started eating, like I was like, actually, I get a bit more of this, but nah. But now that I don't have the food up with me, I'm like, damn, maybe I should have like eaten a bit more, or brought it up with me, like. <laughs> Just, wow. And he stuck the landing. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> no, we won't be doing that show. I was going to meme and be like, hey, let's get political. But it's like, nah, I, I'd rather not. I'm good. Ugh. Oh, okay, that's actually more of an insult than just dropping me on that panel, making me fall straight down, like. Actually, maybe if I do it here. Nah. There we go, that's better. Standing here, I realize you were just like me, stuck to make history. Well, I actually have thought about the, um, a possible future where I have to stop streaming because of internet quality.
Because, like, as I keep saying, like, if I do move house at some point, like, what if I move to a new place and the internet isn't as good, like? Like, I know right now the stream quality isn't, like, the best, but, like, it was a lot better than it was when I first, like, started using internet when I was younger, so that's the main reason why I stream. But, like, if it's bad at the other place, like, that'd be kind of sad. That'd be, like, an end of an era. I'd essentially just go back to being a um, video editor again, a YouTuber, because I'd literally have no choice, like, like, why all the way down, can I ask? Like, you literally could have just dropped a tad bit, but you decided to go fucking full pants down mode, and we're like, nah, fuck you. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that was the fucking joke. I remember hearing Chibi Doki read out fucking shit jokes, like gamer jokes. It was like, what's the drop rate of your um, pants or something like that? And that's literally the whole line. There we go. No, down. There we go. You know, I actually, other than thing, I've actually had another interesting thought experiment. What if I use, like, an AI vocal of my own voice, so I provide it, like, with all my audio samples from over the years of doing YouTube and Twitch and stuff. Like, what if I just provide it with all my, like, vocal samples, and I just say, hey, sing this song for me? Wouldn't that be weird? Like... And imagine if the AI like, actually sang it better than I could, like, that, that would actually be just an insult, like, it's like, damn, I could have spent, like, ages learning how to sing properly and all that, but now, I'm gonna just have an AI do it all for me, like. Because, I mean, I guess, like, if people want to do that, then that's fine, you know? It's just a weird dilemma that I've just realized can, like, occur. Okay, hold on, my nose is giving me shit again. Like, literally, I'm doing nothing but talking, but then my nose just randomly just itches out of nowhere. Like, it's so annoying. There we go. I'm assuming those scraps over there must have been from the crow on the left-hand side of the map. Too much. That's what she said to me last night. Let's just say she really enjoyed herself. Of course, I'm talking about the one in my dreams, like, not in IRL. Never IRL. Girls are too icky to hang out with IRL, to be honest. They have to give you cooties and all that shit. Man, what has Jump King done to me? Oh, fuck's sake. I'm just so annoyed. It's like, I make progress, and then I fucking turn my tail the other way, like. See, like that! Bro, like, I'm slowly losing progress, and my brain knows it. But it's choosing to be a fucking dickhead about it! Look at this shit, man. If I lose this next jump... Okay, to be fair, that's not as bad as I thought it was. We did progress back up a little bit, but... <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be quiet. I just know I'm gonna fall for fucking ages, and I don't wanna watch it! I don't want to. Okay, never mind, I lied. I, 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 that was kind of overdramatic, I'm not gonna lie. They played the music again, though. They, The game thought I was going to fall that far. Like, bro, it, the game was literally just listening to my cries. It was like, oh, yeah, he's going to drop far. Fuck! Oh, my God, that's almost as bad as the time that Charlie said that the chocolate factory was goaded, like... When he knows he would actually probably die, like, from falling in the chip, yeah, chocolate river as well, like. 
Man, why didn't Mr. Beast recreate the, like, chocolate waterfall one for one? Like, bro, shush. Mr. Beast could upload, like, the shortest video in the world as a meme, and people would be like, bro, this is so offensive to people with, like, long attention spans, like. Mr. 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 Beast, Mr. 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 Beast, Mr. 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 Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast, Beast, Beast. Remember that fucking what was the TikTok song again? It went like Chu Kawaii at the go me un watashi hashinem hena go me un. Chu kawaii no go me un dashi. That song came back up recently. I, oh yeah, no, because I was listening to fucking AI president singing songs and they were singing that song. I can't lie when I say it's a banger. Actually, I don't even think I've mentioned this on stream, but I actually did delete TikTok from my phone. <laughs> like, it's finally gone. Like, the only, like, short-form content I really watch now are clips on YouTube and, uh, shorts on YouTube. But I don't go scrolling massively through, like, shorts either. Like, if I could uninstall YouTube shorts, I would. Just for my own attention span's sake. Cringe. Man, being labelled as cringe is probably the highest form of dishonour you can give to someone. Especially when they're not trying to be cringe in the first place. Too much. Oh no, it wasn't too much. Fuck! I undershot it because I fucking did thing, man. I overshot it last time. <sighs> Thank you! I don't even care if I fall at this point. Fuck me, man. How long have we been playing now, jump just Jump King in and upon itself? And I finally reach at least this point. Bro, I'm actually done. I'm actually so- I actually just quit right now. Gone. <laughs> just- What- do we even need to do any- anything else here? We don't even need to go up farther than this, do we? Like, what's the point? See, this is what happens when you try to go up farther. Whoa! Fella! Did someone just put a cock in your mouth? Like, what the fuck happened there, like? You can tell where my mind's at if I'm shouting that someone has a cock in their mouth, like. You can tell my insanity is rooting deep into me. The insanity of trying to play this game whilst frustration builds up inside of me and wants me to smash the keyboard on my desk. To be fair though, at least it give me an excuse to go to GameStop tomorrow. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Go up to it to get a new keyboard, like. But to be fair, I've little reason to get a new keyboard, other than, like, get a keyboard that doesn't have the WASDs, like, rubbed out. And the, uh, shift control, left shift and control keys rubbed out as well. If the spacebar had its own lettering, that would have been gone ages ago as well. You know, sometimes your parents actually just don't love you, and I don't know why. Like, you seem like a reasonable person, but, like, I'm sorry to say it, but it is just the truth, like... See, you thought I'd sneeze there, but I actually didn't. I literally just... I was going to bang my head against the desk. But then this shit happened, and then my fucking brain said, why? Yeah, I would punch my bed, but I feel like I actually would break my bed if I punched it, like, even just punching the mattress, I feel like I could legitimately actually just, like, 
do enough, like, put enough force into the bed with a punch that I'd actually be able to damage the bed below it, like. And I don't want to be replacing a bed now when I'm going to be fucking hopefully moving out in a year's time. To be fair, a year is still quite long away, but that's what I also thought about the fucking, like, Love Live game shutting down on my phone, like. The first one, like, it just came in March. It's like, oh, yep, yeah, March, that was fucking three months ago now. Well, at the end of June, it'd be three months since it shut down. And now All Stars is shutting down as well. And that's also just like, lol, uh, see ya. And I thought that was going to be a bit, you know, two months now, that would be grand, but no. Nope, the end times are here. That's also another reason I just haven't been streaming as much, because I've been, like, grinding the shit out of the All Stars game before it goes. Because sure, they could do a port of it, but if they don't, then at least I've like done as much as I can in the uh, game before I leave it. Because I'm not really bothered to re-download the games uh, through a different like uh, thingy mobile. Through people that are still hosting the servers with unofficial copies of the game. I just don't trust them. Like, that's literally just me. And I don't know if I really want to be trusting people that I don't even trust, like, with my information, like, with access to my Google and all that for data on the games. Ah! Man, where is my fucking bottle? I need a, I need a fucking, I need just need to drink myself to death here, man. To be fair, now that I've thought about that, I actually might go get a drink, like, in a second, like, just to soothe the pain even just a little bit, like. Because for my birthday, I bought myself a bottle of uh, Kraken, uh, I think it was Black Spice rum or something like that, or just Black Rum or something like that. Basically, it is rum. I'm a Captain Jack Sparrow enjoyer. Honestly, the most frustrating thing about this part of the game is just having to wait. Like, if you didn't have the wait, this section would be so much better, like, honestly. But on purposely, it's built like this to annoy you. To get, like, teach you patience. To teach you that you need to give it time before you return to your former glory. Brain, don't think. Just. I literally just said, don't think. And what did you do? This is what happens when brain cells are not, like, corresponding to the orders given. Like, just less. My hands do the work. Okay. I am a gamer. I am a gamer. I am a gamer. Dr. Han. You're lucky. Hey kid, you're lucky you didn't even fucking do that. Gambit's been waiting for you. Have a trip down. Honestly, it is actually faster to jump up to that platform than not jumping up to that platform. Oh yeah, I could snap this if I really wanted to. I just did a little stress test on the keyboard just there. Yeah, I could actually probably snap this keyboard if I really wanted to. And like the funniest thing is, right, when it comes to the keyboard, I do have another one, but I prefer the like kind of keyboard I'm using now, the one with all the clacky keys, the uh, 
uh, mechanical ones. I know it's probably heard a few times on certain streams, but like, I have to use this one. Like, I can't use that other one. It's way too small. Like, I feel like I'd break that one a lot easier, even though it is made of like, uh, actually, no, I think it's made of plastic. I'm thinking of the uh, MacBook ones that are made of metal. The other one I have is a membrane. I think having mechanical keys, though, adds a bit of flair to a stream. So at least when you hear me rage and I'm fucking slamming the keyboard, you can hear all the mechanical keys, like, <laughs> just <laughs> just rattling in the spot. To be fair, actually, I just thought about that, that there. If I am to stop and have a drink, I could actually just watch some of uh, the next episode of Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone, I will admit, is kind of in a weird place right now. Please. <sighs> okay, we haven't gone back to the other section, I'll take it. Because, like... Okay, no, seriously, that's actually enough. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously done. I'm, I'm not doing any more. I'm not doing this. I'm going to take care of my mental health, and I'm going to quit now before it's too late. Save. Yes. Imagine I accidentally wiped the... <laughs> just just wipe the fucking save, like... 20 hours and 30 seconds. Damn. Quit the game, let us go, and then do this just right here. My feet. Jump. Thing. And plus, I should probably go now anyway, so I can give myself some time to make the thumbnail, transfer the pod. And do all that lovely bits and pieces. So, huh, thank you so much for watching the stream. Uh, maybe I'll come back to the captain at some point. Because to be fair, the captain is a game that was going to be just like a once-off thing. So I think I'm going to actually give the game a rest for now. And actually move on to something else the next day. I just don't know what I'm going to move on to yet. Um, let's see, what are our options? No, you never know. Maybe we'll have a bit of fun. We might play some Fall Guys next stream or something like that. Or whatever. Maybe even some Miles Morales Spider-Man. Because I did see the film recently. And I kind of want to play like the game again anyway. So yeah. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching the stream. This is the last stream of the cat ears for now. I say the last stream. But like you know it's going to come back again. The cat ears are kind of synonymous with me. But like I don't have them on all the time. Because I'm not actually a cat boy. But anyway. Thank you for watching the stream. Make sure to follow for more. Make sure to also subscribe if you watch this on YouTube. And uh, yeah. Thank you again so much for watching. And goodbye.